We are going to blow everybody out today. My goal is to make this stream as boring as possible because we are going to blow everybody out today. And I want to get I want to get right into it. I've had enough time messing around, not playing with the door first. I want to get right into it. I need a quick comparison between you and Tolga and Shaheen, please. Uh, Vessel and Tolga and Shaheen, because I'm going to keep one, get rid of the other one, and bring in either Marcus Arling or Christian Yildiz. We're going to bring in one of our Dorfers, uh, one of our developed Dorfers to the national team. This is a big day for the club. Uh, they've earned it. Stuarta, thank you for the three months. Have a great day. You have a great day. Dude. Uh, it's either homegrown Christian Yildiz, good athlete, great passer, Good controller of the ball, or it's time to call up Marcus Arling, who we've loaned to. Where did we loan him? Uh, St. Gallen in Switzerland. Not quite as good of a passer, not quite, uh, not as much of an athlete, but he's a better forward player than than Yildiz is. We got a poll, voting it. Yildiz or Arling. Wow, it's really heavy to Marcus Arling. Okay. Our first Dorfer call-up to the Austrian national team is Marcus Arling of St. Gallen. And just to make sure we don't have another space in the team, we do not. There's one particular thing on this list that is so crazy. There is a player for us. No, Bubay's already, like, France's starting goalkeeper. Look right below him. We have a player loaned out. Loaned out. He's not even here. He just got called up by Germany. And he's not even good enough to be here. You know how freaking ridiculous that is? Our goalkeeping scouting is incredible. Our goalkeepers are incredible. We have a loaned out player that just got called up for the German national team, Mark Ahrenwurf. And you know what? He just he definitely deserves it. He is a very good goalkeeper. Awesome. We have one league match, though, before we get to the, the international stuff, which is actually just a couple of friendlies. Because uh, this is the last window before the World Cup, right? Before the World Cup run-up, which we are in this summer. Uh, and so it's friendlies. I think we play the U.S. and like an African team. Hey, Vanderhorst, set a baby. Porta Mazebi also called up for the Iranian national team again. We had Richardson going forward. Now let's go with a Liu. I want to I wanna absolutely blow these guys out. We're going to go Vanderhorst. We're going to go Joshua Liu playing on the right side. He is a real danger when he's playing in that position. Bube, Mbamba, Sander Henneman, Given Marquez. Thank you very much. And they're going wide. Tafurner is not. Yes, really. I do. I say that every time I see him. He's left footed. Every time we play him, he's always left footed. And I'm always surprised. Thank you for flying Air Zealand today. But before we uh, continue and the, the stream, uh, we would like to uh, would like to thank our. Our Sky Rewards members, we'd like to thank the Hammers, and we'd like to thank, of course, those watching on YouTube uh, for joining us on today's flight. We know we have you, you have a lot of options when you fly. Uh, we do appreciate you flying Air Zealand today, and if there's uh, anything that you need from our cabin crew, then uh, you can get it yourself, because, you know, why? Why are you asking them to, like, you can see the sign where the bathroom is. That's not the point. <clears> that we do thank those on YouTube for joining us today. Hello, YouTube, and uh, enjoy the rest of the stream. Hopefully, you can join us live next time, but it's, it's an absolute pleasure serving you today. All right. Now we can play this match. Now we're good. Rocket ship moon emoji. Air Zealand straight to the moon, baby. Vanderhorst, Sander Hinneman. Oh, I thought that was in. I totally thought that was in. Vanderhorst. Oh my god, Steven Markish! I don't know if I've ever seen Given Marquez just break through over the top of a team. This is not his game. He's not that fast, but he just breaks through over the top. 
Nice finish. Goalkeepers in the, he's in the wilderness a little bit. Hell yeah, brother. Oh, jeez. Why does it have to be the one guy I have a tight mark on just to make me feel like I'm not having any influence on the game? Noah's got to follow that. Noah and Bomba's got to follow that. All right, they've got, you know, big crowd. Everybody's on their feet. Noisy arena, 1-1. One, one. They just equalize. Oh, you better try. Oh, my goodness. What is this, amateur hour? We have the bodies in the right spot for that. Then you just let him go. Wow, we are not... We are not defending Urgent Cara well at all, obviously. This is shocking. This, this is like really bad. We look like we are in training and we're like the dummies that you're like running through. We're not even moving. I mean, you know, I mean, good God, man. Get get in front of him, run with him, something. Owen. Uh, just keep it moving. We're all good. Oh, Given Marquez. That is lovely. Thank you very much. 2-2. Two, two. That was really pretty. Given is a... Given's a baller, baby. He's a baller. Yeah, good chances, but not enough volume. That's a great pass. Oh, yeah, here we go. Quintana. Oh! All right. Vanderhorst and Bamba keeps it moving. Pospicial's out there. I'm okay with this. Oh, Jakob. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you? Oh, back to Jakob. No shot. I, that would have been the craziest goal I have ever seen. Plus, special ranging for your ref. 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 <sighs> Given Marquez. It's been his game. It has been his game. What a moment. Yeah! In the Vienna Derby. Do you ever get tempted to check players CA and PA? No, it ruins the game for me. Oh, Richardson. I, I agree with who the other, but if you like, if you want to check it, by all means, it just ruins the game for me. I'm never, no, I'm not really ever tempted. I, I go to great lengths to avoid it. What a great win, by the way. What a great win by the team. That was well done. And a great result that creates some real distance between us and the rest of the league with nine matches left to play. <gasps> yes. We're starting Marcus Arling. No, we're not. He's tired. That would be stupid. We're starting Petter Schuler and bringing Arling in at halftime. So who's the starting 11 for the U.S.? It's Ricardo, Pepe, Musa. Who is this? Jorge. Oh, I mean, the guy plays for Man City. Okay, fair enough. Jorge Julia, Musa, Aronson, Reina, Adams, Dest. Paredes, Otis Zoe. I don't know who that is. Brian, oh my God. So, Brian Oko, real guy. Horvath is the goalkeeper. It's a little bit of a weird vibe, but okay. The Claudio Reyna region, I see it. Eastwood, thank you so much for the prime. And Ridzia, thank you so much for the prime. Welcome to the Hammers. To both of you. Oh, Gruel. Dang it. That stinks. This is extended highlights, by the way. Absolute nothing burger in the first half. Can still win this. Keep working hard. It'll come. And then we need to get our three 45-minute guys off. Huge moment for Marcus Arling. He makes his debut. Dario Marizic off for David Nemeth and Conrad Limer off for Flavius Daniliuk. And here it is, the debut of the promising 19-year-old on loan from Austrian champions Floridsdorfer to St. Gallen. It is Marcus Arling taking the field for the second half. A bright future certainly before him now. Like, I would like to win. I would like to get a highlight for Austria today. We are the home team. This is in Vienna. Oh, yes, yes. One more. Yes. No. Thank goodness. Curacao's finally beating. No, 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 no. Not Owen. Anybody but Owen. 
And that's us, Tino Casali. Another painfully average keeper. Nail, nail. What a stirring friendly. Oh, right. Sorry. Disappointing we didn't win considering we had the majority of the chances. Yeah, I mean, we controlled the flow of the game. I don't know what to take from that. I don't know if I... Uh, I don't know if there is a lot to take away from that. I think you just kind of go, eh. Oh, and then I... Oh, no. And then I got asked a question as, like in my role as Florence Dorfer head coach. How proud are you to see Marcus Arling get his first cap for Austria? I'm like, ma'am. I might have had a small role to play in that appearance. Virgin Cara and Elias Havel. There, Seivold there, ready to rock. Okay. Go get him, Tiger. Greece at home. And our last friendly before we get into the World Cup window. He's off. Thank you for the flag. It was a little late. I mean, I, tw I, I tweeted that. I'm like, look, I, I got a lot of jokes. I've had a lot of fun with England not winning, but England finally won and all I got is congratulations. You know, right? Like it's been a long road to winning a trophy and you know, the women showed it how they showed them how it was done. Why? Here's my question. When the ball goes out wide here, why do we just like not like watch posh? Go with him, right? Like he's on side. You gotta go. Uh oh, he's gonna have it. Good block. Baumgartner picked up an injury. Other coach is gonna love me. We don't have a shot. I'm gonna a uh, lazy match. They're averaging like 0 0.5, uh, 0.05 xG per shot. So we're not really worried about that. But we don't have. Oh. We have a shot now. We haven't taken nearly enough shots. Oh, no, 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 no. I just angered a lot of coaches. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I didn't mean it. Oh, fudge. I didn't mean it. It was not. I didn't mean it. It was nothing serious. It wasn't. Um. I never had any intention of doing this to you in this moment okay i was respectful of your wishes and then accidentally hit the space bar and now the moment this guy kicks this ball i'm gonna have a ton of coaches trying to wring my neck oh Havel! oh my so we just we just absolutely managed two back-to-back nil-nil draws in international friendlies that is just that's impressive Oh, or did we? Or did we? Yusuf Demir to steal it! What is going on? This is the sound effect I wanted to use! Not like we've been dominant either, but sheesh. Sheesh. Should've won that match. Two nil-nil draws to the US and Greece. We are hiding what we're truly capable of before we go to the World Cup. Nobody will know. Nobody will know what to expect before we hit the field at the World Cup. All right, we've got the Der Österreich Klassiker. I believe that's the correct pronunciation there. I I take exception to people that oh, 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 oh like their steak well done. Who is in the list? We'll surprise ourselves. The number one wonder kid in the world is Lefebvre. Who? Enrico Lefebvre, another goalkeeper. Screw you. Second best wonder. He said Velez. This guy's not in Europe yet. Fernando Farias. Already on our list. And then our, fir our first guy on the list is Jean Trujillo. Who is, of course, out with a torn hamstring right when he was starting to rev up with our senior team. Internationals Ismail Kunrath. That's just a cool name. Uh, Ariel Betty, we already know who that is. That's the center back. And Ali Bube has cracked the top 10, the 19-year-old goalkeeper for France. And us, who's somehow worth only 20 million. That's fine. Uh, who's this guy? And... Okay, I've got... Uh, I have an admission. I did 
just ask who's this guy, click on him, and realize that he's joining us this summer. But is that really indicative of me having a Wonder Kid problem, or is that just a, a symptom of our attempted world domination, right? I, like, I don't... It could be... It could be one thing. It could be the other. I don't know. But this guy, yeah, he's pretty good. Okay. Oh, Jakob pushed Pichel's top 20. I mean, deserved. Ever since he joined our team, he has improved like an absolute madman. Uh, he's such a good kid. Hard worker. Level-headed. Professional individual. He's getting into the Czech national team. I just love Jakob Pospisil. He brings it. Oh, and right next to him is Xander. I'm going to hammer him on his development, though, because it's a little back and forth. But we actually have four top 20 wonder kids right now. Oh, Enriquez. This is another guy joining our team because we have been working on signing him for such an incredibly long time. And he is finally on the way. And I think he's the guy. Oh, my goodness. We have so many people on this list. Julio Cesar Vanegas is next. The Mexican international center back at 18 years of age, Julio Cesar Vanegas. Right back, Roman Dovletchen. And there's Rock Avbel, the Slovenian national team 18 year old that we signed. He like also has, how is he on this list? This is the top 30. We have like, eight guys in the top 30 and i don't think we're done because jeweler's mine too oh my god there's gonna be nobody left on this list for us to sign everybody we sign ends up on this list playing for dortmund's i mean that i doubt that expected price that's ours too daste is ours oh stefano daste he was having a great season at nice it looks like he's got a 7.05 and 19 appearances playing for nice Spent a lot of money on him just to loan him out. David Nielsen's on the list. We have too many center backs. Oh my. This, this actually, this means so much to me because yes, we scout our head, like we scout our backsides off and we sign a lot of great players. We have a homegrown youth academy player in the top 50 wonder kids in the world. Christian Yildiz is 39th for wonder kids in the world. And I am so freaking proud of this kid who's never had five-star potential, even when he came in our youth intake. It has continued to improve, and he is on the top 50 wonder kids in the world? Christian Yield is on the next Gen 50? Oh, you beautiful beast. Now I'm going to go with Diatan Samipak, who's got transfer interest, apparently. Tel Aviv went with Diatan Samipak. That would be too low for him. Come on, that's, that's mean. They've got Ismail Mudaraji, a former Dorfer, playing left wing. It's crazy that there are former Dorfers hanging out in that spot. But they've got two guys cutting in. We got to be ready. All right, we got to tight mark that entire line of their team. Who hits that swap with Axel Perez for back post defense? Der Oosterreich, classicer. It's Salzburg. It's Florence Dorfer. It's peak drama. And we didn't have that ability to snuff out plays. And it's in! Oh, he's missed the touch. How embarrassing. Nice header by Devletchen. Vanderhorst with a chance to pass. Aliu. Yes, Sander Henneman! You donkey! All I've got for some reason. I disguised my countryside very well. But I do have a lot of different... My family had a small farm. I do have a lot of different reasons, you know. <laughs> I just hide it. Oh, that, no way. That's a penalty, Raff. dude. No Raff. way. Ref. And now it's Given Marquez. <sighs> Get him a goal. Get him a goal. Oh, you hear that? Yeez the roar. Can you believe this is our home game? Perez. Oh. Oh, goodness. You don't have to beat it up. Just touch it into the back of the net. <laughs> that was a great save. And why? Like, we gotta, we, we either whip it low or work the ball back to the middle. Those are the two options because we do not have tall. There's no Ansi Carl Lanen coming through that door. All right. We, oh, no, 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 no. 
Oh, I could see it coming from a mile away. He was never going to get to that ball. And he's picked up a second yellow. Uh, we're going to go with our classic formation in this situation, which is two guys in attack. Alex Santeas is wide. And we're going to keep doing what, like, we keep playing our tactic the way that we play our tactic. The midfielders are just going to be exhausted by the end of the game. That's 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 okay. We've got Bube. He's a heck of a keeper. We can give up free kicks from out there. Ali Bube is going to save him. Give me Richardson for Vanderhorst. You keep going nuts. You, uh... No, I want, to, I want to anchor him more defensively. I think ball... No, he's, he can't. He literally can't be a ball winner. He's just a smart defender. He's not a physical win-the-ball-back defender. And then Richardson, just so we have fresh legs to recover our position up top. But we don't change how we approach this tactically. We keep them pinned back. Oh, yes! We don't even need 11 men to win their Rooster Rank Classicer in front of the away end. <laughs> We're fine. We are fine. I, don't, I, I have no idea how that play happened. Or Carl Arrow leading the line, streaking forward also. Wow. Great win. Very happy with the result, the way you played. Uh, 10 men? Yes. Thank you very much. We're the masters of our own destiny. Got to be wary of complacency, but we have opened the league split with wins against Salzburg and Rapid Vienna, and you can't open a league split better than that. Again. I'm going to bring Benegas and Nazareno in to play center back to Vlechin, Santeas, and Bamba. I'm going to bring in Widiaten Samipak for Aliu. I'm going to bring in Richardson for... Uh, there, we're gonna go Richardson and Vanderhorst, Giva Marquez, Sander Henneman is fine, uh, and that's what we're looking to do. Am I saying Hamilton's the best driver of all time? I don't know near enough to know the answer to that question, but he did win seven times. Like, I just try to, this, the, the, the argument always drives me crazy in sports. Be like, ah, oh, this dude sucks, right? Pep is terrible. I'm like, do you know how many trophies he's won? Do you know how many coaches get that much money and boards get that much money? Like, and don't win. PSG lost League All last year. League All to Lille, and they've got more. They, they've got money falling out of their ears. And Pep won the Prem convincingly again. Barcelona will spend so much money it's nauseating. What a goal! I was. I did not expect Nazareno. I'm just making this point like over sports. Like, broadly over sports. Now, there are always a lot of reasons that somebody wins something, but it is never as simple as, like, one explanation that it, that just explains away their ability. Convincingly by one point. Exactly. Convincingly. I was thinking it two years ago. Convincingly by one point. Right? Yeah, maybe, okay, if, he, if he's got the best car, maybe there's, like, two or three other F1 guys like drivers that if you gave them the best goal, well, nice goal. If you gave them the best car, they might've been able to win one or two of those titles that Lewis won. But holy smokes to say he like, you know, it was just the car and he didn't do anything. If it was so easy, then everybody would do it, right? That's like an old quote. And, I, and I'll apply that to Hamilton. I'll apply that to Pep or whoever else I've referenced. It's like, oh, that's a goal. God. How do you get open? How did he get open, man? Why? We got, like, we're in position. Nazgul, you're doing nothing. Venegas, you're marking air. Like, okay, Yakupovic puts the shakes and the bakes on and gets the ball in. There's no way Mustafa should be freaking open here. Nice, Venegas. Didn't know he had, I didn't think Venegas had, like, expansive passing plays. This is so pretty. That was so good. This better go in. I am freaking furious that that... And Tom Brady was also, uh, there's another part to this. And that Peyton Manning was the, he was a huge, oh, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. That's vintage what we're trying to do with our tactic. That's a gorgeous goal. Peyton Manning was the number two pick in the draft. Uh, no, he's number one pick in the draft. Leaf was number two. 
Uh, he was the hype beast. His dad was a Hall of Famer. Tom Brady was drafted in the sixth round. He was the 199th pick in the draft. Nobody thought he was going to be good. And so they came from different directions. Peyton was the chosen child, and Tom Brady was this random dude from Michigan. And the contrast was that everybody just assumed that Brady was getting lucky because there's no way a guy picked in the sixth round could actually be that talented. Peyton, no, Peyton's not close to Brady now. Brady's won more Super Bowls than any team. Peyton has two. Uh, but when I was growing up, it was Peyton or Brady. They were both 99 and Madden, you know, it was like the underdog guy who's just a freak about taking care of his body and just, he seemed like Brady's just a robot. And then Peyton, who's like Mozart out there, right? And that was the difference. That's probably the best way I've described it is Brady was this emotionless robot who was like the Terminator, right? And every year you'd show up in the playoffs and there he was again, ready to steal your soul. And then Manning was this artist. It was just, he would paint this picture with these words, you know, oh, ah! all right. And all this stuff he'd yell at the line. Phil definitely settled us down, allowed us to make our plays and a nice win. Our defense has not been good over the course of these three matches. And Teos is a great game. He's a great player. Obviously, we love having him. Samo Gamal, there's Schultz, who's not going to get selected today. Quintero, Aliu, Ax... Uh, yeah, we'll go Aliu. Aliu, Axel Perez, Res Vanderhorst this time around. Garzon's not getting a lot of starts, so let's actually go with Garzon. Sebastian Muller, who is my player on loan at last. If he's starting, we're probably going to win, because that kid is not that good. At the Yizda against Lask. Axel Perez actually has a captain's armband today, and that is a captain's pass. Goal! He was on. Goal! The fact that we have been able to dominate our league for the first time this year and put together really high ratings has affected that. Yo, Hinneman's going off. Ref! Wow. That was a marauding run by Xander Hinneman to win this penalty, and Given's gonna be here. Given Marquez! He is so good on penalties. He is so good on penalties. Sami Pot can play there, and Devletchen's just running himself ragged, and we're gonna need him for the, the tough matches. Away to Salzburg's coming up somewhere home against Rapid Vienna. The matches that will determine how comfortable we can make this. And we'll want him fully fit for that. Nice pass. Thank you. If he missed that, if he missed that, I was going to lose it. Okay. I want to see Mbamba play as a right wing. I bet he'd be a beast. Honestly, yes. He's got great aerials. So like those back post crosses, he'd be present. And he's a very physical player. And he's a smart player. I don't know. Yeah. It, oh, oh, Xander. Oh, yes. Goal! Get out hustled, son. New favorite player poll. Yeah, no, we used to do uh, with ODFC. We would do a fans player of the season. We might bring that back now since we've got a very unique team full of individuals. Uh, day off. Yeah, we'll give him a day off. I'll give him a day off. Great result. Rapid Vienna's keeping it close. We're 12 points ahead with seven matches to go. And we're going to go with Schultz, Garrison, and Sami Pak. This is an all offense, all the time type of lineup. And that's, yeah, that's the way we like to live our life. Sturmgratz is our only loss. It was the last time we played them. I want a stirring revenge tour to take part here. I like Vienna's team now. Oh! I just want to watch that again. I mean, is that... I just want to watch this again. This is just so good. Oh, that is training ground. I know we didn't score, but wow. So, yeah, exactly. A reasonable price to stadium be, what, $45? Quintero, Given, he's on side. Given Marquez is an assassin. Goal! Painfully unimaginative from us. There it is. That's a lot better, and that's a pen. Ref! But you know, it's Big Bad Given. It is what he does. 
He hit him with one of these. He said, come and get some. Make one or two subs for experience or... No, we do have Schultz. I'm going to get Schultz in. That excellent training should uh, should be rewarded. He's showing me he's got more in the tank. Vanderhorst, oh my goodness. Goal! Dorfer's best player. That's the poll at the top of the chat. Is Given Marquez the best player on the Dorfer's? That's shocking keeping, but a nice wiggle. A nice wiggle and strike from Vanderhorst. Definitely good work. Yeah, 80% uh, of the people that voted in the poll say Given Marquez is not the best player on the Dorfers. Fair enough. Novaish and Bube probably drawing a lot. Oh! Childish foolishness that's found the back of the net from Owen Randalls to Diego Quintero. This is stupendous. It's irreverent. Oh. Whoa. I mean, he just takes it out of the air first time and pops it up to Quintero. Who then just pops it in. Oh, he just deadens it. Perfect. Get revenge done, nerds. Exactly. It's what you get for beating us earlier in the season. I mean, it was on the road. Some reason Sturmgratz away day is always a nightmare. It's never fun, but we've made Sturmgratz home very fun. That was nice. That was, I, we played really well. It was a very comprehensive victory. We embarrassed them with a beautiful goal from Vanderhorst, Dinkin and Duncan to Quintero. I'm happy the way we're playing. Absolutely. Morale seems high. We're just trying to build one good performance on top of another. Big win for Rapid Vienna to keep the chase on. They beat Salzburg and clinched their Champions League spot. It would seem with that result. I mean, Jakob Pospisil is improved as mani He's improved as aggressively as anyone I've ever seen. From the moment we signed him. He's a 19-year-old left back and he is like world class. He's at 15 decision making now. Wow, Nations League B draw. Oh, uh, the fact that we are still in B, we got screwed by Poland on the last day last time, drives me nuts. Finland, Albania, Hungary, Bulgaria, cool. Netherlands, us. Why I play Albania in everything? I'm tired of the Albanians. I'm tired of them. Yeah, let's go, baby. Yeah! Albania, us, Northern Ireland. Love it. Absolutely love it. Turkey, Hungary, Romania. Spicy, spicy. A lot of history between those three countries. Uh, or no, Slovenia is what I meant anyways. North Macedonia or Slovenia, easy. All right. Yeah! If we don't get out of that group, I am retiring from international management. I'll be honest. Oh, yeah. If we win this match, we win the league. Okay. It's gonna be a momentous fixture for the club. Our first ever back-to-back -back title at the top flight of Austria is what is on the line. And we have a chance to win it head-to-head -head against the pursuing team. Look at Given. Look at Given go. He is smart. He is brave. He controls the ball well. He works hard, moves into channels, tries first-time shots. He is a precise instrument of offensive destruction who is getting better. And hopefully, as we have worked on it nonstop since he got here faster, Novaish, on the other hand, a little up, a little down. Yield is in for uh, Schultz because I trust him more in this situation. Xander Henneman's back in the lineup for Quintero, even though we do love Quintero. We know what he's capable of. Mbamba, Pospisil, Novaish, Torbjörnsson, Devletchen, and Ali Bube. Normal lineup, normal setup. Everybody's where they're supposed to be. Florence still for AC. They've become a surprising force in Europe and a dominant force at home. Looking to become the first team to clinch the league outside the final two match days of a season since Salzburg some six years ago, it would seem. They won at Rapid Vienna in the Vienna Derby 3-2 to two earlier on this stream. Can they clinch the title again? Oh my, what a goal. Great. I, 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 you know what? I, I, I talked too much. I talked too much.
That's we were we were talking. I was still pontificating, and Vargas just hit a worldy in the in the shelf down. Yes, thank you, Axel, 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 Axel. brings out the big man from Pennsylvania. Good. We don't want Mbamba sitting on the ball and he never does. Hit him in. This Christoph guy's got his dive to the left down. Big strong hand to dive to the left. Special Perez. Even. Hit him in. I like it. Vander Horsel. Oh. Oh, what a hit. This tight marking from us is suffocating them. We are so much, like, they're good. We're so, oh my goodness. How do you both get, I, I really need to stop talking because every time I start talking about, like, that sort of stuff, they get a chance. Oh, yo, 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 Vanderhorst. Must be she'll drive and cross, drive and cross! It's Axel Perez! It's certainly the league winner for Florence Stolperace! And he couldn't have left it later than that! Axel Perez has won Florence Stolperace the league! Sorry, Owen. He's literally supposed to pick up the trophy in 45 seconds. But he's hurt, so uh, who picks up the trophy now? Thank you! Why is the Austrian League trophy celebration broken? Whatever! We're the league champions! Yes! And honestly, for the first time, for the first time, we're very clearly the best team in Austria. He sprained his knees out for the rest of the season, just a month and a half, not that bad. But... We, 